Hello, this is Clipbank News Bites. Coming up this week, 20 years of SMS, text messaging anniversary marked, and Jewish communities celebrate Hanukkah. Eight day festival of lights takes place around the world. It's 20 years since the first text message was sent. The very first SMS, which stands for Short Message Service, was written by Neil Patworth and it simply read Merry Christmas. The British engineer, who was 22 at the time, used his computer to send the message to an Orbital 901 mobile phone. Engineers are not the best uh, people at coming up with wise words and, uh, you know, we, we used to we tend to send things like AAA or QQQ or something, whichever, whichever button is nearest on the keyboard just to show it works. For us, it makes no difference whether it's Merry Christmas or QQQ. The world now sends seven trillion text messages each year. It's the most common form of communication in the UK. On average, every single person sends 50 messages each week. Text messaging also helped to create a new form of written communication, text speak. Text speak evolved when senders started to shorten words so they could fit more words into their message, as SMS messages are limited to just 160 characters. There were concerns that text speak could have a negative impact on people's spelling and grammar. However, experts now argue that rather than damage a person's ability to communicate, it may actually help with the development of reading skills. Text use was actually driving the development of reading skills in children. Text speak throws us as adults, but for children, it's a bit like being raised bilingual. It's my dad's phone and he, uh, I use it quite often. I use it in the week. I, I prefer texting than reading because I um, find it more... Um, like, I enjoy it more and I'm quite fast, so it's quite easy and I sometimes send photos. Recent research across messaging habits found 18 to 25 year olds send more texts, on average 133 messages per week. Men communicate via texts more than women, but send shorter messages. And women are more likely to send long messages with more emotion. But the popularity of text messaging seems to be on the decline. Usage is now dropping thanks to the rise of internet-enabled smartphones. These provide easier access to online social media such as Facebook and Twitter and apps whose messaging services are cheaper than sending SMS texts. So as the text message celebrates its landmark birthday, who knows whether we'll still be sending SMS in another 20 years' time or if it will be confined to the history books. Jewish people, including me, are celebrating the festival of Hanukkah. The eight-day festival is also known as the Festival of Lights. In the Western calendar, Hanukkah is celebrated in November or December. This year, it began on the evening of the 8th of December and goes on until the evening of the 16th. Hanukkah celebrates one of the greatest miracles in Jewish history. The festival reminds Jews of a time over 2,500 years ago when Antiochus, a Syrian king, tried to oppress the Jewish people and make them worship Greek gods. A small group called the Maccabees rebelled and after a three-year war they recaptured Jerusalem. The Jewish temple was all but destroyed. The Jews had to clean and repair the temple. And when they were finished, they rededicated it to God. They did this by lighting the lamp a menorah, which was a symbol of God's presence. Only one small jar of oil was found, enough for one day. But miraculously, the lamp stayed alight for eight days. Families like mine light the menorah or Hanukkah each night. On every Hanukkah, there are nine branches, eight for the eight nights of Hanukkah, and the ninth branch holds the shamash candle. We need an extra candle in order to light the actual Hanukkah candles. A new candle is added each night, and it is lit from the left to the right using the shamash. On 
America, we eat fried foods to celebrate the miracle of the oil. These include potato pancakes or latkes and donuts. It is customary to give small amounts of money or presents on Hanukkah. We also play games and the most common one uses a dreidel. The four-sided spinning top has a Hebrew letter on each side which refers to the miracle of Hanukkah. We usually play for a pot of gelt, which are chocolate coins covered in gold-coloured tin foil. But you can also play for candy, nuts, raisins, anything really. I love Hanukkah because it reminds me of the time when I was a young child lighting the candles with my mother and father, who were no longer here. This year, with my children and my first grandchild, lighting them is very, very special. Hanukkah is celebrated all over the world and often large Hanukkahs are lit in public places to commemorate the festival. That's it from me. This is my last News Bites as I'm leaving to go to a new job. I've really enjoyed presenting News Bites for the past two years and telling you all about the week's stories. Have a great Christmas holiday. Goodbye.